so many ways, the game of baseball is timeless, and teammates share a bond that lasts a lifetime. I guess we didn't really think about it until we quit playing, until the league folded, and then in retrospect, you look back and you say, how great was that? On a game day at Great American Ballpark, these ladies, this team, lined up the same way they did so many times, in some cases, more than 70 years ago. Ball players still from the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. The real-life stories that inspired the 1992 film, A League of Their Own. Yeah, I was only 15 years old, and a scout came to St. Henry, Ohio. I'm from Minster, and he told the insurance man, he says, I think that girl could play for the Fort Wayne Daisies. I thought, where is the Fort Wayne? I was a farm girl, never got out of Auglaize, Shelby County. <laughs> Known at times as the Lipstick League, Game started in 1943 when America's pastime had taken a back seat to World War II. Created by Cubs owner Philip Wrigley, the league was both great entertainment and newfound opportunity for female ball players around the country. You know, you ask how the game was. We played a good game of baseball. I would say that everybody would be quite surprised if they, if they saw the quality of our baseball. And I think that's a question that people keep asking us is, you know, how good were you really? And I think they would be very, very surprised. Teams like the Fort Wayne Daisies, the Kenosha Comets, and of course, the Rockford Peaches portrayed in the movie eventually played a 108 game schedule. And in the late 40s, they drew close to a million fans to games played on fields all over the Midwest. My manager was Jimmy Fox, and the first time I got up the bat and swung, and he says, are you a farm girl? I says, my God, does it look like it? And he says, no. He says, your wrist action, you must milk cows. I says, yeah, six in the morning, six at night. <laughs> Both Katie and I played for Jimmy Fox in 1952. We loved him. We adored him. He was nothing like the falling down drunk that Tom Hanks played in the movie. And so he's not alive anymore. And every chance we get, we try to set the record straight. The league lasted until the mid-50s. The bond created by the game of baseball, though, has remained as strong as ever in the six decades since. You learn to win and you learn to lose. And if you don't, you're in trouble because life is not all victories. It was baseball every day. We loved it. We would have played for peanuts 